morning everyone i think it's thursday i know school holidays or oh, holidays in general i lose track of what day it is um i'm not feeling the greatest but i thought i might vlog today in the hope that maybe what's motivate me to get some things done i had a bad day yesterday too yesterday i did like nothing did finish my jigsaw puzzle i'll try and show you later on but it's still a box anyway so you've seen what it was um yeah, so yesterday was a bit of a write-off. Um, we have got, as you can see, some new ottomans. We're going to take the legs off that one because it becomes too tall. But it meant I can sit back in my old sort of seat over there, which is nice because I could pack Rosie this morning. Um, so yeah, I need to tidy up in here. We need to vacuum again because she is still molting. Otherwise, it's kind of not too bad. We won't go in the front entry because Kevin hasn't put away stuff there. Tara and Athena have already headed out for the day. I think Tara's got a doctor's appointment. Athena's going to do a bit of shopping. And then I think Athena and Christy are going down to Jam Brew down to the water park today. Tara's not been feeling great, so I don't think she was going to go. So she'll be back home. Um, I'm hoping I feel better. I've been watching decluttering and minimalist videos this morning and I just want to go do stuff. I think even if I don't feel good, eventually I will um, maybe just try and find something I can sit and do. But I don't know. Pretty achy and sore. I don't even know what I'll for breakfast and it's nearly 9 o'clock. Is it? Yeah, it's 9 o'clock. I didn't actually get up to about 6.30 this morning. I'm pretty solid night's sleep, but um, I don't know what I want. And I don't have any bread left, so like, choices are going down. Um, and new knives. Oh, they are amazing i didn't realize our old knives were so blunt like we've got a sharpener but wow the new ones it's just like you cut through anything it's like just slicing through butter like whew, they're so good so yeah <laughs> we're very happy with them so far and i have just got them sitting there i don't know whether they're going to stay there actually this can get put away now i don't know whether it's going to stay there or um, or move down here this can go away i don't know why things get left out um, the lentils, <laughs> this is a bag with lentils in it, they didn't fit in the jar and I was going to, I'll put them in the cupboard though because I was going to use them when I cooked dog food but we ended up doing something else the other night so yeah, I will um, I might even put them in another, another jar and then we can see, this is what I mean about vlogging today to help motivate, see, you've already motivated me to clean up a little bit in here um, I don't know where the container for that we've only got the lid so we'll just see if it turns up um, yeah i think i actually might move it down there and i might that way this won't look as cluttered let me see. oh my gosh can i lift it with my weak hands I think I want to put it around that way actually because they're probably the knives that we will use more. What do you think? Is that better? Probably. But at least it's all like the bamboo stuff. It all goes together which is nice. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you think that was better. But I think that probably does. Um, and I can put the rice cook away. Got some things there to wash later on. We seem to generate so much washing up these days, it's crazy. But yeah, I want to just, I mean, trying hard to keep the kitchen clean. It makes a big difference to my mood when I walk in and see a clean kitchen as opposed to a messy kitchen. Another weird breakfast. <laughs> Couldn't find much else to have. Oh, I don't know, it didn't feel like anything. Um, I was tempted to go around to this local bakery and buy a vegetable sausage roll, but then I realized, remembered we had a vegan sausage roll in the freezer, which I've had like for um, oh, not a year, but you know, over half a year. Maybe a year, I don't remember. Anyway, some, a long time. <laughs> so I decided I'd, I'd have that. I don't know if I've cooked it quite long enough, but I think it'll be, fi it'll be fine. Um, I did say for the best results, defrost it for four hours beforehand in the freezer. So obviously, I skipped that step. So I'm going to go have that anyway. So because I'm sitting back in my old position using the footrest, it's nice to be able to see outside again. Means the puppies are back in their old positions. 
think she's very cute. Well, I had Rosie here beside me cuddling as well. Because I'm having breakfast, but he's in his breakfast position. That's cute. I can look at his beautiful little face. So I'm just going to show you the other top, similar top that I got from Alani. I didn't realise there were emojis because I'm stupid. <laughs> I said, oh, you couldn't emoji top. I just wanted a single top and as you guys know, I had a lot of trouble getting single tops. But I got the two from Alani, so that's really good. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the colour. Nice blue colour too. It's lovely and cool. So perfect for hot summer's days. And I'm afraid I've done no makeup today. And my eyebrows are pretty much gone. I've got half eyebrows. <laughs> They need tinting again. That's not happening till another week, I don't think. So, if I was going out, I'd apply some eyebrows, but I'm just home. And you guys have seen me probably looking worse than I do now. <laughs> I'll tell you, my Costco hand towels, which I've got there, are working out beautifully. So much better for drying hands than tea towels. <laughs> so, I'm really happy with that purchase. Well, I'm taking the puppies. Well, I'm taking one puppy to the vets. This one is coming for a ride. You've got to go in the boot, Rosie. Oh, this is the fun part. I'll put the camera away. No, that's right. She needs a boost up now. I'll get him in. No, Rosie. Come on, you're hot. <laughs> you're right, Bailey. Oh my goodness. Do you need a boost as well? What have you done? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Rosie. I'll take this out actually. The Rosals, I'll put it back in later on. Are you oh, he's still sitting on a bag of rubbish, Rose. <laughs> Dear Goose. Thanks. Crazy pups. <laughs> oh, we're back from the vet. I had to wait so long there. We just happened to hit a busy time. Even the vet said it was unusual. <laughs> they waited a long time, went there two minutes while Rosie had her needle. And we left. But good news, she's lost some weight. I think she's lost, I don't know, one and a half kilos or something since her weigh in last week. <laughs> so that's good. So we've got a few more kilos to go, Rosie. <laughs> so I'm just making some lunch. Just um, having a rice bowl. And I am very hungry, so I'm going to enjoy that. Okay, I'm upstairs. Feeling a lot better. She last hour. I was going to come up with them with over, so I'll have a chat with her. But um, I've come upstairs because I'm going to at least start on the Christmas decorations. So all the ones that are out are pretty much what we used this year. So I might clean up here, make some area, put them there, and then I'll grab. I don't know. I'll probably work for about half an hour. Watch out! Beep 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 beep! You sticky beak. Um. Yeah, I'll probably grab the one at the end. I'll see how we go. Obviously, I need to go through three shelves worth of stuff. See what I'm keeping and what's going to go. And then what the kids want to keep. Perhaps for them, when they like this was a special um, thing. It tells it up before Christmas. That's so cute, but I don't put it out anymore. The kids loved it when they were little. I don't know, I guess it's the kind of thing. you got to work out whether you keep it or whether you don't keep it. <laughs> I have no idea whether I'm ever going to have grandkids, so I'm not going to keep things for the grandkids maybe one day, but um, I'm thinking the kids will probably want to keep that. Anyway, I'll um, see how I go. Okay, box number one. This is empty. <laughs> um, it's got a little kissing Santa, I think it usually what goes in there. Um, no, it's not the reindeer votive holder. Well, if I find it, <laughs> I might put it back in the box. I don't know I'm going to keep that one, though. Anyway... I didn't think to bring out my tripod, which I should have, and I could have found it better for you. So I'll just I'll show you, I guess, when I have gone through it. That took like all of five seconds. What a surprise to find <laughs> a chocolate thing at the bottom. That's what I'm going to see the kids want any of that stuff. If they don't, it's going to donate. And then, do I keep this? I don't even use this. Right, they can see they want that too. Um, that's Kevin's Bailey's. I don't know what that's for. These I'm going to keep, but I'm going to put aside because they might be handy when we get our rental units. Because I probably would like to decorate a few things for Christmas when we have our Airbnbs. Or that's if we do Airbnbs. And if we don't do the Airbnbs with our units in Canberra, 
we can just donate them then. Also, the kids want them then. But yeah, so just trying to keep a few things I think that I like still that I think will be suitable for that purpose. So I might put those things perhaps into this box and then that box can get stored somewhere else. And obviously these things that should have been out for this Christmas. So we can find what those for. And then yeah, so I'll put these back in here. And get another box. Okay, I think I forgot to show you the box before I emptied it. But it was this box here. So these things, doesn't that Winnie the Pooh is a very nice quality Winnie the Pooh. The cow's broken, don't know what he used to sing. A couple more of those Christmas mugs. This the kids love when they were little. I don't know if it works anymore. I have a funny thing, it's broken. Um, I don't love it anymore, it doesn't go with my stuff. Um, okay, another board. I think that's even Christie's um, writing. I don't know who read on that last time. And this, oh, where's the other cube? I thought I had the other cube. Well, if I can't find the other cube, it's going to be pretty useless. If we can find the other one of these, I don't know. Probably donate him. We don't use him anyway. This I'm not sure about. So I'm keeping, oh, I actually wanted that sign this year. I couldn't find it. I keep that. I mean, it's a bit grubby, isn't it? But it is rust, so it's, it is very cute. Um, kind of might be cute <laughs> to have, like that, but I don't have anywhere in the house for it. So it's kind of a maybe. I'll put it there for now, but it would be for the unit if I keep it. So I probably will keep it for now. Um, yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll put it in the unit Airbnb pile because again obviously I can still get rid of it at a later date so doing well so far some more boxes down and that Christmas tree can go so the few things there that can go haven't used for years and they're past their best so I've also got these books I kind of thought do I keep them do I not keep them I'm guessing Athena's going to want to keep them <laughs> but um We'll see. Maybe she can pick a few out and we can donate some and some kids can use them between now and whenever. And if I happen to have grandchildren in the future, I can buy some more books. It's okay. I know where they sell books. Um, and in the meantime, someone else can use them. So I'm going to go through these. I mean, this one's got a hairbrush in it. <laughs> and, and a coat hanger. <laughs> so I'll go through those. Okay, I'm back on my phone, back on my camera now, which is better because it doesn't zoom in as much. I couldn't find my camera, but it was just hiding on the other side of the box there. So this is like some broken, cheap, whatever ornaments. It's still is worth doing anything with them. I'll just throw them out. Um, yeah, and that too, I think. I uh, might donate the basket. This is bits and pieces for the kids to go through. Again, I just kept a few ornaments. Probably won't keep that one, actually. It's broken anyway. Kept a few things. I don't know why they went on the tree, but they ended up here. <laughs> Still haven't found that. One of my Mickey decorations, which I will keep when I find the rest. These are broken, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe just ones that didn't make it into the box with the others. For my little village, which again, I'm keeping for now. Because it's all worth a lot of money. You're not going to get anything for it. And the kids may want it later on. Someone may be bothered to put up the Christmas village again. Won't be me. But um, I will keep them for them. I will keep them for the kids. And if they don't want to decide they don't want the village and I'm downsizing further. One thing we've got a lot of is things like this that I think must have had chocolates in it one year. And like, where are they? There's some angels. Oh, over the back there, those brass looking angels. They had chocolates in them. And something else I saw had chocolates in them. I kept them. So nice boxes. Oh, those boxes. All oh, those boxes you can see over there. They all had chocolates in them one year. And I've kept them because they're really nice. And you think... I'll oh, reuse these, but I did actually have some Christmas pop puree, pop puree, is that what it's called? Yeah, in there. Um, so I had used them at one stage. And they're lovely baskets, but I don't need them. Someone else can use them. And what are you doing? Are you being a sticky beak? Did you go and have a sticky beak in there? You can't get through here, Fuzzy. <laughs> There's no food. 
Well, not that I know of. Not that I've come across anyway. <laughs> Okay, so that's like in behind there is my village stuff and village stuff. That's more Christmas ornaments. It should have been on my tree this year. Empty box. Um, oh, all the little people are in there. So I'll get the other box of people and put them in there. These are little albums when I was doing like December dailies. I've got a few of them. Santa photos. Little children. Um, this is all Christmas. Found the other one of them. And it's all Christmas decorations that go on the other tree when we've put that up. I'll just leave that one for now. Um, looks like that's got some Christmas stuff. No, yes, looks like Christmas and Valentine's Day in one basket. Um, and I've got this one. So that's the other tree skirt. I'll go through that. And I'll do, get that tub out as well if I can. I might actually make a tub for Valentine's Day stuff, which would be good. Let me turn off my camera down. I'm losing it. I think I left it in the cupboard <laughs> over there now when I filmed the last bit. So I've got the last two tubs to go through. And then I need to get the kids to come. Uh, I've got rid of a lot of stuff. <laughs> See what they want, what they don't want. And then I should have loads of swimming in that cupboard now, shouldn't I? Because I've got rid of quite a lot. I cannot believe what a good job I have done. I've found a towel and these three things I think I'll keep, but that's what goes in that box. <laughs> I'm going to keep those three items again. A possible Christmas day call about rental units. The rest is going. <laughs> so from, so from there, Onwards is all going up to that sort of line. There, that's all going, and it's a lot of stuff, isn't it? That we're just storing. And obviously, I could throw some more, but they're nice pieces. I think I'll keep them. Maybe I should let this one go. It doesn't really match in with anything, and I like it. Okay, I think that's a Ross piece. Yeah, it is. Ross do nice things, but I might get that, let that go. These are both party light pieces. So those who I do decorate, they'll kind of go. So yeah, I think I'll do. I will let that one go as well. And the kids might want it. I got that at Blue Mountains years and years ago. So I'm not keeping an excessive amount, amount for the units, I've just got a few things in here. I'll try and put that thing in the box. I'm going to let these go as well. Cute as they are. I'm guessing the kids might like them. They're from Coles, so it's not like they're expensive. Why would I hang on to them? They're just, you know. I'll let them go as well, the kids that want them. Someone else can use them, but they are cute. I do like them. I'm also going to get rid of this Christmas wreath because it's pretty old and had it and it drops glitter everywhere and drives me crazy every year. So I'm going to get rid of that and buy a nice new one next year. I've got a little friend. Oh, she's looking at me a second ago, looking real cute. No, she's off. Oh, I can't see very well. My eyes vision's gone funny. I'm a bit tired, I think. Um, after my good little productive episode up there, I didn't feel so crash hot anymore. Unfortunately, Tara's had a bad turn tonight. She's been collapsing a bit and she's collapsed again and had a um, presenting like post seizures. So we've just called an ambulance now. So they're taking off to hospital to investigate. Because actually, when, when we were away, she actually collapsed and hit her head and had an internal, I had a brain bleed. But she was collapsing obviously before that. So I don't know whether what's related to what. But anyway, she's gone off to hospital. Um, we don't stress for anyone who's new who's thinking geez why aren't I worried or stressing or anything it most likely does relate to her PTSD but obviously they have to make sure there's nothing else going on as well um, so we're just having some gonna have some dinner when they come back in um, even the dogs are so used to having ambulances here now they didn't even care <laughs> it's like quite funny they didn't even bark or anything it's like oh they're here again um, Poor Tara. 
Didn't last very long into the new year without getting an ambulance call, but it's been a few weeks, so that's pretty good going, really. So I just um, cooked some potatoes, I'm going to have potatoes with some cheese or something for dinner, something simple, easy. And, um, yeah, I actually found a place in Wollongong that sells vegan cheese, so I've ordered some vegan cheese because I'm keen to get back to my vegan diet, and probably cheese is probably the biggest struggle that I have, so if I can get a nice... A good vegan cheese, I think all my worries would be over. Um, certainly for eating at home again. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll um, keep this updated anyway. I'm sure she'll be home. Probably a few hours, she'll be all back to normal and she'll get discharged. I mean, whether they find anything or not, but hopefully. I don't think they will. But um, yeah, poor Tara. Such a rough time of things. <laughs>